time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, September 29th, the last Power Hour of the month. Let's make it a good one. Uh, all right, so only uh, only zero DTE trade I made today was the reverse iron condor this morning. Took four of my five off at 30%, still holding one runner, which is doing well. So I'm going to let that continue to run a little bit. <clears throat> As for power hour. Looks like 15 wide, maybe 15 wide strangle for tranche number one. I like it. Maybe possibly 20, depending on where we settle. Right now it's 15. Either way, I got to buy some longs. All right. Got my lungs locked in. Make sure I got my template set up. Tranche one fifteen wide, yeah. Price pushes up a little bit, could have a 20. Glad you like it, PT. Glad you like it. It's a good way to end the day. Did anyone do uh, any other zero DTE trades besides Rick? Looks like a late day about noon would have worked well selling premium. It's been kind of chopping since then. But that is, of course, in hindsight. So still looking like the 90.75s. I'll give it another minute before I enter. Pushes up. Could be the 95.75s.
looks like we may have the 9575 for 20 wide. I'm going to go ahead and enter. I'm trying to get filled at 680. 95 calls, 75 puts. Filled at 670. 20 wide. I like it. We don't need hope, Kelvin. We got probabilities on our side, my friend. May not be a winner today, but we have probabilities on our side. A little bounce here going since about 1.30 Central. Low tick of the day was 4274.86, or about 15 points off the lows. I will be doing a uh, six seven DTE and a three five DTE. I mentioned to somebody in the uh, calendar chat, you know, Powell, uh, Powell does speak on Monday, which is the short options. But the way I the way I'm look I look at this is with the three five. I kind of like look at it like a one two, right? So even though the shorts were going to be going on Monday when Powell speaks, it's kind of the day before or the trading session before. So I'm going to do it. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to do kind of the lower end of my range as far as size goes, but still be doing it. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, was, Monday's Kashkari speaks. I was thinking, yeah, you're right. So, okay. So Thursday Powell speaks after the market close. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Now I'm looking at this week. Next week, let's bring this down here so everybody can uh, keep me straight. Yeah, Powell speaks Monday. Yeah, so I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do a three, five and a six, seven. A little rally going here, back up towards the lower end of the expected move for the day. Tranche one, my stops at 1070, currently already trading at nine bucks. Yeah, Powell speaks at 10 a.m. Central on um, on Monday. Also 9 a.m. ISM manufacturing PMI numbers. Tuesday jolts. Wednesday ADP non-farm employment change and ISM services. 
Thursday, unemployment claims. Friday, uh, some more jobs data. So news every day of the week. In the 9575s. Yeah, it's not looking so hot unless we get a little pullback here. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm probably, I, I, I will not be trading any AM iron condors before his speech and stopped on tranche one. Well, that was fun. Fast and furious. All right. Got to leave it up to tranche two and three. And we still got about 14 minutes before tranche one or tranche two. Yeah. So as I was saying, so I won't on, on Monday, I, I won't be, I won't be trading zero DTE unless a, you know, if, if a Rick sets up, uh, I'll do that, but I'm not going to be doing my normal AM ratio iron condor or anything right before Jay Pow and his buddies take the stand. I got in at uh, 670 into the 9575s. The internet problem may have uh, benefited you today, Dick K. Our ES Hedgehog continuing to do nice. Take that off probably late next week. Roll down some calls in MES. Roll down some calls in soybeans. Our VXX trade was up really nicely, still up 750 on that one. And then the first one we did down uh, about 350, almost 400. And S&P's just slightly red now. NASDAQ is green. Russell down eight, Dow down 140, 150. And I've got a lot of work this weekend to get my uh, trades up to date since Toss won't let me export. I probably won't get out the monthly monthly update until early next week, but I'll be working on it a little bit. I'm going to be out of town this weekend, so I should have some time Sunday. And SPX coming back down. Yeah, and I've got to uh, PT. I've got a 
update my trade plan as well this weekend. Nothing, uh, definitely no major changes. Maybe a couple little tweaks here and there, though. I haven't, uh, I've got a kind of a list of things I want to just evaluate a little bit deeper before I put out my October plan, but not too much different. Uh, we're doing a, we're going to do a, a, a live webinar with the developer of Tradehawk, which is part of Tradier. So that's on October 12th. We'll put out more information about getting signed up and, but it's after the market closes October 12th, I think that's a Thursday. So you can mark your calendars for that, but um, it's not, it's not really ready for zero DTE in my opinion. I mean, they're still building out their OCO orders and things like that. But I've been trading on it for, I mean, it's good for like calendars and butterflies and kind of non, non-zero DTE type trades. Our single put calendar in SPX is up about, looks like about four, four to 500. Let's see, what did we get into that one for? 315. It's trading at 365. It's trading trading over ten percent. Might consider getting out of that one before end of day. I'll put in an order at three seventy five for now. Actually, yeah, that's well over. All right, I'll do that after after tranche two. I've also got to put in my six seven.
Here's my reminder. All right, filled on my six, seven. Just posted that in the calendars. All right, for tranche two, can reuse my longs. That's the good news. Had a few more. Uh, all right, so three bucks. So we got 10, 20 wide, 20 wide again. Let's see if it's enough for tranche number two. Give it a couple minutes. All right, one minute here. Looks like the 4305s, 4285s. Forty three oh fives, forty two eighty fives for tranche two. Trying to get filled at six oh five. Filled at five ninety five. 4305 calls, 4285 puts. All right, so going back to that put calendar in um, in SPX. I'm going to go ahead and try to close that here. If I get out at 65, that'd be 50 divided by 315. It's 
about 15%. So I'll keep that order at 65, 365 on that one. And then I'll put on um, about 10 or 15 minutes before the market closes, I'll put on a 3.5 DTE. So I didn't get any response on my um, run, Ricky, run, boys in the hood meme, which means one of two things. Either nobody else in the community thinks that boys in the hood was one of the greatest movies of all time, or you thought it was a little inter inappropriate for my uh, Rick runner, one of the two, I'm not sure which. If anyone could clarify for me, that'd that'd help help me out. <laughs> Never heard of Boys in the Hood, Wooga? Wow. Are you a communist? Are you un American? All right. Well, there's something for you to do over the weekend. Great American classic. PT, you with me? All right. I got one. I got one trade hacker with me on that one. That's all I needed. There you go, Davis.
produced by Ice Cube at the ripe young age of like 19, I think. All right, a few minutes until tranche three. Dick K, you're still in tranche one too? Still in tranche one also? Nice. Yeah, if we had gotten in about five minutes later, then uh, pretty solid. All right, got to buy some longs for tranche three. Where was that price stopped going down? Are you bragging about your fibs again? I don't think it quite got to your fibs. Does, so does that count? Like if it, if it doesn't get like within three points, does that really count? <laughs> this little wiki right here at the one thirty mark. Fibs win again. All right, tranche number three looks like it's going to be the 05s and the 80s, 25 wide. I don't have a 25 wide template set up, I don't believe. We'll have to create some new template that this VIX is going to stay pumped for us. Oh, that looks like it might be the 4300s.
All right, 4,300, 4,280. 4,300 calls, 4,280 puts filled at 475. All right, so anywhere between 4,285 and 4,300. Dick K, is the VIX poking his head outside the Bollinger Bands today? We got an up Monday? What's going on here? Fill us in. Uh, Marthinus, I'm doing a three five. Um, let's see, three sevens would be so the Monday, Friday. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I just uh, I'm not necessarily looking to load up on the three day options with Fed Powell speaking. I'm going a little lighter. If Powell was speaking on Friday and there wasn't much going on Monday, I would definitely consider it. And he doesn't speak till 10 a.m., so we're going to be out of the trade, but I'm just thinking the uh, those short options may keep their keep their value, you know. Supposed to decaying as much as they normally would. So I'm still going to do a three five, but just smaller size. Uh, inside the Bollinger Bands, that's too bad. All right, getting a little bounce right back to center. Let's see if old SPX wants to give me a chance to take one to the bell today.
Oh, my SPX calendar is not filling at 365. Looks like it's trading back down around 355 or 350 now. I get filled though. Well, now it's acting like it's popping back up. Looks like Dick K is hanging out in the uh, Mindset Live channel by himself. Dick K, are you waiting for somebody? Just hanging out, trying to uh, get some mental, mental good vibes. and he's gone <laughs> I do that too I do that too I hear you good get your get your head on straight now that's good that's what you need to do if you're ever uh if you need to ever need to clear your mind, just go into the mindset live channel by yourself. Speaking of mindset live, Trader Bianca. We haven't had one in a while, I know. And my after after market schedule is just not not great, so we will uh, we'll have to figure that out. Might be able to do one here in a couple of weeks. BK is doing a five, seven, three, six. Double diagonal IC mix. Three, five, six, seven, three, seven.
Yes, Ken, that's true. But you got to remember, Dick K is a machine. So he can do things that the normal human cannot. All right. Yeah, we could use a couple points up here. Keep our keep our head above forty two eighty five. MRP, I'm no longer trading on a Mac, so I don't see that. Personally, I have my Mac, I have my PC with my monitors, which is what I've been doing everything on now. I, I have my Mac set up right next to it. I thought I would still use my Mac quite a bit and I've barely touched it since I got my PC. I do. Yeah, I do like it. So far, so good. Oh, nice. Thanks for sharing, Laura. I've got a little something coming with Jared Tindler in the near future as well. So what I've, I just, uh, I actually just spoke to him yesterday. I, um, so what I plan to do is I am going to do some coaching sessions with him where he's coaching me. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to record it and just share it with you all. So hopefully you can find some value in that a kind of see his see how he coaches people and go a little deeper on kind of him getting into, into my mind. So hopefully you guys get some value from that. So tranche two got in at, what did I get into tranche two at five ninety five. So I'll reduce at 360, call it. Currently trading at 385, Three, there it is. All right, so reducing my stop on trunch two. Twenty minutes till the bell. Uh, 
Well, that six, seven double calendar I just put on not too long ago is already up nicely. It's a quick little pop. I think that's how it works, Ken. Yeah. Tranche two is trading at 460, 490. Reduced my stop to 560, so I can't too, take too much of a uh, move lower on tranche two after reducing my stop. Gonna need a bounce here on tranche two. Trading at five bucks. Stops at five sixty. Tranche three is trading down to 嗯。All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my 3.5 on.
All right, just posted my three five in the calendar channel. No, Mirage, I don't change my stop for tranche three. Just one and two. All right, there's a nice little bounce. Let's go. About 13 minutes till the bell. My single SPX calendars looks like it's hitting the order. Not filled yet. I'm going to adjust that to 360, see if we can get filled here. There we go, filled at 360. It's a little over 14%. All right, tranche number two is trading at two bucks. Tranche number three is trading at a buck fifty. All right, right in the middle. Ten minutes to go. Heart rate currently 87. I'll get a little bounce here. Let's see if we can bounce off that expected move area.
All right, we got to come down a little bit now, boys and girls. Just a little bit. Let's just stay right under 4,300. Tranche three stops at 775. That one's currently trading at about five bucks. All right, I'm definitely going to take tranche two to the bell. Tranche three is trading back down under two bucks. It's got, a, it's got the 4,300 calls. Let's see if this one wants to creep down. May just hold them both. Heart rate, 91. Well, now we're getting close to the uh, tranche two lower strike. Boy, what a reversal. Look at that. Four minutes to go. I need above 85. Heart rate, 95. 
<laughs> I love the heart rate game. All right, there we go. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Three minutes to go. Stay right to here. Maybe maybe a couple points higher. Ooh, heart rate 102. 104. This is getting to me a little bit. Look at that swing. Oh, three to 82. Quite a little range. Heart rate back down to 95. The more centered, the lower my heart rate. Oh, wait, back up to 102. Oh man, I forgot to lower it. Ah, darn it. So I got a I got it at 45 cents on a tranche two, tranche three. Still in tranche two. I just as I was starting to lower, I forgot I was starting to lower my uh order on tranche three, realized it. Tranche two got hit. Less than a minute. Just hold above 85. Twenty five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Pin. Nice. All right. So I lost four thousand, about four thousand on tranche one, and then made almost sixteen thousand on two and three. So net about a twelve k power hour. I'll take it. Gave away that 45 cents on tranche two. All right. Nice, nice job, guys. Uh, good stuff. So I got to put the uh, live stream calendar out for next month. Haven't done that yet. So I'll get that done here shortly. But everyone have a fantastic weekend and we'll be back trading in October next week. All right, all take care. Have a good one.